Hello, welcome back to All My Yankee Candles A to Z after a considerable gap. Um, I'm sorry about that, I needed a kick and thanks to those people that have kicked me. I've got a bit of impetus back and I want to carry on with this and eventually finish it off. So, we're going today with part 13. This is All My Yankee Candles that I've got that begin with N and O. And I've got a quite a few to get through, so let's always away. No descriptions, no scent notes, anything like that. This is just my gut feel on these candles. So let's start with... Nature's Paintbrush. What a way to start, what a way to come back to my A to Z with Nature's Paintbrush. This is one of my all-time top 10 Yankee Candles. It's soapy, it's outdoorsy, it's like the most beautiful kind of autumnal soap, if that makes sense. I know a lot of people love this and it quite easily is one of my all-time top 10. I do have another large jar of this luckily, so that's Nature's Paintbrush, fantastic. And we carry on with the big guns, Napa Valley Sun. Napa Valley Sun is just... Incredible. It's another top 10. I don't know how many I can fit into my top 10, but if I can fit 50 in there, I will do that. Napa Valley Sun. Ah, oh, we've got some top up in there. See, this is what I do with my leftover jar wax. If we've got some nice clean leftover jar wax from another jar, we stick it in the top of the jar. Saves you trimming the wick and you get extra burn anyway. Napa Valley Sun is just, it's a creamy vanilla, kind of slightly spicy heaven. It's grassy, it's outdoors, it's just beautiful. This is the kind of scent I used to describe that would bring tears to your eyes, it's that good. Napa Valley Sun is truly one of the best Yankee candles ever made. And we carry on. These are also great. November Rain. November Rain, we're in November now, and I was burning this in October even, but it's the freshest, bluest, showery, incredibly strong rainy candle it's absolutely fantastic november rain it's incredible and a beautiful label as you see there this is going well isn't it i love all of these <laughs> uh, a night under the stars so a new one for 2020 you may have already seen my review of this one so i won't hang about with this one too long but i can absolutely love this it's so different it's so woodsy and cedary with just a touch of the night about it absolutely beautiful scent night under the stars uh, two more ends. North Pole, coming back in 2021, as announced by Yankee Candle, it won the fans' vote for a returning fragrance. And, yep, yeah, the label is outstanding on this one. The scent, yeah, it's quite nice. It's a minty, Christmassy vanilla. Very nice. Um, I think you need to get really in the Christmas spirit to enjoy that. So what better way to try and get myself into the Christmas spirit with my last end candle, and it's Nutcracker. Look, this is one I just had to buy for the label. We've got lots of uh, Nutcracker soldiers, probably about a dozen or so, of about a foot high. So when I saw Nutcracker, can the candle existed, I had to get a couple of these. And it is. It's fresh berries. It's Christmas trees. It's just everything Christmas. It's wonderful, Nutcracker. Okay, on to the O's. We've got eight O's for you here. And I'm going to start with Orchard Pear. Perfect for the time of year that we are now, which is the autumn. And it's a lovely, warming, kind of very ripe pear, this one. It's a very ripe pear in a fruit bowl. It's absolutely lovely. Not too sweet, just beautiful rich fruit orchard pear. There we go. Quite hard to find these days. And let's whiz back to summer. Orange Dreamsicle. Orange Dreamsicle with this lovely label it is... Ah, oh, it's, it's... It is what it is. It's that orange lolly on a stick. It's got a touch of fizziness about it. I pick up in vanilla... But that lovely, just that lovely summer refreshing orange, an orange dream sickle. We fly on to on tap, love it or hate it. People love this or hate it. I absolutely love it. Ah, this is that. <laughs> the people that don't like it, but I love this smell. It's like that beer soaked carpet in a pub. <laughs> but it's also a pint of, um, the, the positive way to look at this, it's a pint of lemon shandy on a hot summer's day in a pub garden, back to those days pre-virus and all that rubbish. Just breathing in the air, breathing in the hops. That beautiful smell of lager or um, shandy on a hot summer's day. Fantastic. On tap. Okay, on to Oud Oasis. This one I love so much that I actually went out and bought loads of Oud aftershave because the Oud wood is an incredible smell. And what a unique one this is. It's got that spicy oudiness, but... A rich, creamy, sweet caramel too. So kind of for people that are not too sure, because oud is a really, you know, kind of in-your-face scent, softened by this lovely sweet caramel. And uh, that's a lovely one, oud oasis. 
we'll go on to back to summer, full on summer and ocean side. I've never lit this one. I've had this for a couple of years. I really must do. But when you've only got one candle, it's so hard to just light that one. Again, I'm going to name check Gerda. You know exactly what I'm talking about there. One candle, very goes to the back of the queue to be lit if you haven't got a backup. Oceanside is so different. You can smell the saltiness, but it's not kind of it's not kind of the blue sea smell. It's got salty and also the smell of the beach, a bit of lotion there, a slight musk kind of musky sweetness, but definitely the salty air, but not quite typical of the other blue scents. Oceanside's a little bit different. Very, very nice. Another love or hate one. Next I love again olive and thyme. This smells like the most exotic lunch in the Mediterranean, outdoors, by the sea, eating a pizza, loads of fresh olives and some spicy herbs. Absolutely a stunning fragrance. Absolutely incredible. The smell of the Mediterranean, olive and thyme, wonderful stuff. Two to go. Ocean Star. Ocean Star. I bought this one, as you can imagine, just for label. I will get around to lighting this. I have two jars of this, so I can do it. Uh, the reason I haven't lit it is because it smells very, 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 very similar to Turquoise Sky. And it is. It's so hard to detect the difference. If you line them up side by side, there's such a slight difference, but it's basically Turquoise Sky, which is one of the most fantastic Yankee candles ever made. Bright blue, seaside, wonderfulness. Almost like a little bit, dare I say, it's like a summer beachy version of November Rain. I don't know, but a good, strong blue, fantastic candle. And, what about that label? What about that label on Ocean Star? So the last O, the last O, the last one of this particular video, Ocean Blossom. This is my last jar of this. We have been through a jar of this. And, oh, it's divine. This takes me back. We've always had these annual Yankee we, Yankee candle parties at our house. We didn't get to do one this year because of all the nonsense. The first one we ever had, Ocean Blossom was on when everybody walked through the door. And pe I, I know other people say that, that this reminds them of that day. And it takes me there. It's the most beautiful, lying on the sea, in a boat in, you know, in the West Indies or something. Not that I've ever done it, but that's what I'd imagine the sea smells like. Beautiful floral notes coming through on the wind from the islands and the crisp blue clear sea. Ocean blossom. There we go. That's part 13. I will be back with another one soon. Thanks for watching my A to Z of all my Yankee candles. See you soon.